If you're aiming for a grade seven, eight or nine, you're going to want to pay close attention to this one. It's a tricky tree diagrams question. Let's see what we can do. The question says that Alan has two spinners, spinner A and spinner B. Each spinner can land on only red or white. And we can see this with the red and white options. We're then given our probabilities, which are also on our tree diagram. It then says that Alan spins spinner A once and spins spinner B once as well. He does this a number of times. And the number of times that both spinners land on red is 24. We're asked to work out an estimate for the number of times that both spinners land on white. There's a couple of different ways to do this. The way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to kind of reverse engineer this to find the total number of spins or an estimate for the total number of spins. Then we're going to multiply this by the probability of getting white, white. Let's get it done. So how can we work out an estimate for the total number of spins? Well, we know that the probability of getting a red and a red is something we can work out. So let's find the probability of getting red and then red. We're going to multiply our 0 0.25 by our 0 0.6, and that is going to give us 0 0.15. Now, how does that help us? Well, we know that it lands on red 24 times, and the probability of landing on red is 0 0.15. And we know from our relative frequency that to find an estimate for the number of um, times you know that something happens, we can do our probability of that thing happening times by the total number of things which happen. In other words, 0 0.15 times by the total number of spins should be roughly equal, or it should be equal to, um, the number of times that both of the spinners land on red, which is 24. So 0 0.15 times the total number of spins is 24. We can use this to find the total number of spins. We can divide both sides by 0 0.15. We're going to get that the total number of spins is equal to 24 divided by 0 0.15, which I think is going to be 160, but let me just double check that. 24 divided by 0 0.15. Yep, it's 160. Now, how can we find an esp estimate for the number of whites? Well, we can do the probability of getting a white and then a white times by 160. So we can start off by working out the probability of white, white. This is going to be equal to, hopefully my head's not in the way, 0 0.75 times by 0 0.4, which is going to be 0 0.3. And then we can do 0 0.3 times the total number of spins, 160. That is going to give us 48. So we're going to do 160, the total number of spins, times by 0 0.3, the probability of getting white, white. That is going to give us 48. Our answer to this question, an estimate for the number of times of getting white and then white. I'm just thinking another way to do that, kind of a, a handy trick, would be to recognize that the probability of red, red, which is 0 0.15, is half the probability of white, white, which is 0 0.3. So we could actually just double that number, the 24. But either way, it's going to end up with the same conclusion. 